sir india alliance sir. meeting is going on in right. mumbai sir that's right see this meeting and how positive uh, congress are for this look the meeting is in mumbai we are in delhi so i cannot speak about what's going on in the meeting but i can say that at the every meeting so far of the india alliance both in patna and in bengaluru and now today in mumbai will reaffirm the determination of all parties to come together and to face the enormous challenge of overthrowing the strongly entrenched government with a message that reminds people of its many 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 failures uh, the fact that people are living in an atmosphere of communal distrust of hatred and violence the fact that inflation is hurting the aam aadmi prices are going up every day that jobs are not available unemployment is at record levels all of these things are truly worrying even while rural unemployment went down because of the monsoons and the farmers were getting some work the urban unemployment was going up so our country is in very bad shape people can afford you know higher prices if they're getting salaries when you have no jobs no salaries and your prices are going up how do you live these are the questions people are asking and the government has no answers we will have the answers we will there we believe in providing a social safety net and in supporting people honestly and we believe in taking everyone along and not in spreading violence and, and hatred in the country sir apoji government is now saying that uh, every time they launch a missile but uh, they always fail how do you react on this listen bjp leaders are saying this listen uh, we'll see as the missiles are being fired there is still some time we have begun the work and as people come together you know when you have uh, uh, sort of a david throwing something at a goliath goliath always expects to win but we will get them where they need to be got and you remember the biblical story who won in the end let's give the many many davids on our side a chance of overcoming this goliath so g20 in delhi uh, how do you see for this meeting but that's a different matter as far as these issues are concerned we are one the country is one we want india to be well respected in the world and we wish all success to the g20 meeting uh, it is a complicated set of issues there are many global challenges and we hope that the government will find it possible to actually address these challenges in a way that leaves all the participants with a sense of satisfaction and accomplishment on this we obviously are very happy to support india's image in the world that is something we stand for also but what is going on inside india we disagree very strongly with the government and we want the government to be accountable to the people of india for their failures congress uh, this time chinese president also coming sir uh, do you think and do you uh, demand uh, to Yeah, Modi to speak on over China issues. Sir. Well, uh, he can do it, but he has so far what he has spoken has not been particularly encouraging. He actually said to the nation that no territory has been taken by the Chinese. But we know for a fact that the modus vivendi of the last 45 years, when both sides used to patrol in certain areas, and now in 26 points our side cannot patrol because the Chinese have established themselves there. that is a very serious development and it has seriously undermined our credibility along the border the prime minister has never acknowledged this publicly even though it's a known fact you go to ladakh there are people telling you they used to graze in certain parts of ladakh they can no longer graze their animals we are finding that the military which used to patrol in certain places can no longer patrol there there are settlements coming up there are enduring permanent installations being built by the chinese and the problem with this is that we are every day finding ourselves more and more on the back foot this is not a good situation with the chinese border while we are not showing this la lanke that we've heard about there have been no no, no la lanke visible there's only been the lal flag of the chinese and what we are seeing instead is a situation where our import dependence on china has become much worse today the chinese exports to india are 100 billion dollars more than they are importing from us we are showing our vulnerability to china day after day this is not acceptable and naturally we should point out we have taken no retaliatory measures they are issuing staple visas to every indian citizen born in arunachal applying for a visa to china they will give a staple visa so i have said why can't we give a staple visa to any chinese passport holder hailing from tibet we should also show them that two can play the same game why do we keep taking their insults quietly and then going on buying their goods we have to now turn this around and show that india will not be taken for granted by china so you are a member of the session has been called on 18 to 22 september sir how do you see sir it's a bit of a surprise i i i was not expecting this we don't know what the government wants to do 
One rumor is maybe the government wants to dissolve the Lok Sabha and call elections early because they are afraid of losing in five states in November, December. <laughs> so possibly that could be a reason. There may be other reasons. They may want us all to congratulate them for G20. I don't know what they want to do. Are they going to bring any surprise new bills? We don't know. I think the government has the duty to tell the nation what it wants to do with the session. For us, it was a bit of a surprising news, but we will be there. The last question. Uh, there's a big debate over a UCC, sir. Do you think this time, because this session has been called the bill which we passed in the parliament, because Uttarakhand CM also said over the issue, it is our resolution to bring the uniform civil code as soon as possible. When we get the UCC draft, we will we all take uh, the process forward this year. But that's exactly when we get the UCC draft. We have not seen a UCC draft. You know, we are all talking about UCC, but do we even know what UCC is? Do we know what rules are going to be changed? What laws are going to be amended? Which community will have to sacrifice what? We have no idea. We're talking in the air at the moment. UCC, UCC, yes, many, many, many uh, community leaders have already expressed their objection, but they don't know what they're objecting to. We also don't know what we're objecting to. We are objecting to the fact that the government wants to ride roughshod over the sensitivities of the public. We want the public to be taken into confidence. We want communities to be consulted. We want stakeholders to have a voice. Then we want a proper debate on an actual draft. Only then can we re arrive at a conclusion. I don't see any possibility of all this happening. I understand when the Law Commission asked for views, they got seven lakh submissions. They have to process these submissions. It will take time. Uttarakhand has been talking about a UCC for two, three years. Have you seen the draft? I have not seen it. नमस्कार मैं हूं मानक गुप्ता अगर आपको हमारा ये वीडियो पसंद आया हो तो इसे लाइक और शेयर जरूर करें और हां हमें सब्सक्राइब और फॉलो करना ना भूलें ताकि आप देश और दुनिया की कोई खबर मिस ना करें तो जुड़े रहिए हमारे साथ और देखते रहिए न्यूज 24